Hey guys, it's Dylan with The Random Automotive, and today I have for you an automotive basics video. Today is going to be about the engine bay. Where do I find it? What does it do? Etc. And to make things easier for you, I have two different vehicles, a 2005 V6 Mustang and a 2002 Chevy Blazer. So without further ado, let's take a look at what's in the engine bay. This is your radiator cover. Directly underneath is the radiator. This helps regulate your car's temperature and keeps your engine cool. This is your car's coolant reservoir. This is what holds your car's coolant, which is the liquid designed to help regulate the temperature of your engine. Never unscrew the cap after your car has been running as you may be severely injured by the vapor that will escape. Always make sure your coolant is between the lines generally located on the side of the reservoir. This is your power steering reservoir. This is where the fluid for your powered steering is. Make sure it is always filled between the lines generally found on the side of the reservoir. This is your brake fluid reservoir. This is where the fluid for your brake system is kept. Make sure it is always filled between the lines usually found on the side of the reservoir. And always make sure the cap is on nice and tight as air in the system could cause damage over time. This one is pretty simple, your windshield washer fluid reservoir. It's where you fill up your windshield washer fluid. It's cheap and easy to do and it's clearly labeled. This is where you add oil to your engine. Oil allows the parts in your engine to move freely. This is the battery for your car. It's easy to identify, but it may be hidden under some other parts. This is what's responsible for allowing your car to start each and every time you turn the ignition. They are easy to change yourself. This is the alternator. You can identify it by its cylindrical shape and the coiled wire inside. This is basically your car's generator. When the power from the battery is used to start the car, your alternator recharges the battery and keeps power flowing throughout the electronics in your vehicle. This is your serpentine belt. This is what transports power to the engine parts, including your air conditioning, alternator, and more. It's important to check this belt from time to time for cracks and frays. This is your fuse box and where most of the fuses for your car are. You may have another location inside the vehicle. Fuses protect your vehicle from damage by destroying themselves, a much cheaper part, before another more expensive part is destroyed in your vehicle. Consult your manual to find out what these fuses are. These are your spark plug wires. In modern vehicles, they run from your coil pack to your spark plugs, located screwed into your engine. These are responsible for creating the spark that ignites the fuel in your engine. This is your air filter, or air box. When air is sucked into your engine to mix with the fuel, this is where it comes in. Inside the box, or exposed here, is the filter. It stops dirt and debris from being sucked into your engine. The air flows through the intake and into your throttle body. This is a valve that opens and closes, controlling the amount of air that enters the engine. This one is controlled by a wire that acts as a spring. This one is controlled electronically. The air then enters the intake manifold, which distributes the air into the engine. Now, we won't get any further into this topic for now. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a little bit more about what's under the hood in your car. Now your car is gonna be a little bit different, so before you start messing around with anything, make sure you either check your manual or take your vehicle to a certified mechanic. But I hope you were able to learn a little bit more. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming future videos. To get more information about the write-up of what's underneath your hood, head on over to therandomautomotive.com, link in the description. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for some exclusive content and some updates about what's happening next. If you have an idea for a future automotive video that you wanna see, let us know in the comments below and I'll do my best to make that happen. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. How come every time I go to do this, the wind just picks up? Like when I watch the videos, there's no wind. When I go to shoot the video, it's just a tornado comes through.